Jackson Radio Show. Welcome back, everybody. Kevin Jackson here. Me and a buddy of mine were having a conversation. It was a debate, actually, on his radio show live. And he says to me, so, Kevin, you know, what do you think about this military parade that Donald Trump wants to have? Welcome, everybody. It's the Kevin Jackson Radio Show, KJRadio.com. So he asked me this. He puts me on the spot. I don't know. I'm, I haven't even thought about that. That's such, it's a non-issue to me. If Trump wants to have a parade, my attitude is he's the president. Give the man a parade. What? Hollywood can have award shows. Businesses can have sales meetings. Give the man his parade. So my buddy, who's a, a libertarian, never served a minute in the military. He's like, I think it's really stupid. I think it's a waste of taxpayer money. Uh, it's something that a third world nation would do, like North Korea or somebody else. You know, they have the parade with the big stompers, you know, the legs, the guys kicking their legs up and down. And they're running the missiles down the middle of some big speak, uh, street, rather. And, um, you know, they I, whatever. I don't know what else they do. I don't know what they do in these parades. I was in the military. I was in military school. We had parades. Uh, IG inspections. We had all kinds of parades. They have uh, uh, parades where people get ranks. They have uh, par- uh, uh, when people retire, they have par- uh, retiring parades. I don't know why I can't get that out. They got parades for a lot of stuff in the military. And I'll tell you right now, I hated parades because for the most part, you know, you, you stood there and, and I don't know if you've ever stood in a, in a temperate zone in a parade, but mosquitoes eat you alive and you can't move in military, not the Marines, Marine military Academy, man, you're standing there and here's what you're doing to blow mosquitoes off your face. <laughs> you're trying to get anything to get that mosquito off. Cause you cannot move. And then if it landed on your arm, you know what you would do? do you know, do, would you got, what do you think you do? No, you don't slap it. You can't slap it. No. You know what you do? You would squeeze your muscles and try to get the the mosquitoes uh, thing stuck in there. So he would finally pop (laughs) and leave you alone. That's what you do. You couldn't move. And and so, you know, it was hot and muggy. It's, you know, you're talking 70 degrees relative humidity or higher and 95, 100 degrees. You would be a, a you would be totally drenched in sweat when you were done with a military parade. So that's what I I hated them, but I loved them too, because it was a way for us to check out ourselves. And, you know, you had polished your brass and your shoes and all this stuff and everything folded two fingers apart, your shirts and all that other stuff starts to a T and suddenly you get to use it all because it's just sitting in your, for the most part, we wore dungarees and boots and you know, and so when you weren't, when, when it was time to do something else, you got to put on the rest of the stuff. You got to do the drills. Uh, sometimes when it was the parents weekend, we'd go out and do a parade and then they would, uh, they do a, our drill team would perform or the mounted detachment or whatever. It was a way to, it's like I tell people in the martial arts, you, you study, 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 and then you go to a tournament and you get to fight. You get to do something. And tournaments are scary and you don't always win, but it was something to do because you generally are not fighting. So anyway, we're having this discussion and my buddy's like, it's a waste of time. And Donald Trump, you know, it's like a third world dictator. And I said, first of all, that's ridiculous. I said, and he goes, what are they going to do? Run missiles up and down the street? And I said, see, there you go. You don't even know what he's going to do. Trump supposedly saw Bastille Day and it showed the French troops marching down some big boulevard. So maybe they would all go down Pennsylvania Avenue. What's wrong with that? What Donald Trump is trying to say is respect the flag, respect, respect the anthem, respect the military. Lord knows the military is not respected these days because of leftism. So we're having this debate. My friend, in my opinion, is insulting the military because he's like, you know, these guys don't even want it. And I go, how do you know? I got a friend of a friend or whatever. And I said, well, why don't you ask the military people? Look, I said, I was in military school. I hated the parades, but there was a part of me that understood it. And I loved the part of it that I understood. I was willing to tolerate it for that reason. And he says, there's nobody in the military who wants to do it. So then he took phone calls and people were calling in. I agree with Kevin. 
I agree with Kevin. I'm ex-military. I hated parades, but I understand the, the significance. I understand the symbolism of what Donald Trump's trying to do. I understand what's going on today in the, in the climate of, of what the military is about. Blah, blah, blah to a person. Then you got one guy that called in and goes, I'm neutral. I hated parades. I'm neutral. Okay. So I was five to zero. Or something like that. Then finally a military guy calls in and says, I hate a parade. I think it's stupid we do a parade. So then, so we're all good. He's saying it's the cost. So I said, okay, well, then what about, so before, this is before he said the third world dictator thing. So he says, it's a cost. Why would we, should we pay for a parade? Why can't they take that money and put it somewhere else? And I said, well, first of all, you know, we waste a lot of money on a lot of different things. If you want to call it a waste. But I said, there are things that you do that are symbolic that means something to others. It, 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 it's worth the money because it means something. It's like a company sales meeting. Why do you have a big hoopla session to give out awards and do all this other stuff? The money could be used for something better, but it isn't. Well, that's private money. I said, so what you're saying is you okay with a parade if it were funded with private money? I just don't see any difference for it. It's like all this third world, dicta- third world dictator stuff. So I said, aha, so you don't like parades. For the military, you're calling a parade something that's supposed to boost the morale of the military, the people that support the moral, the military. Forget what the military thinks. People like parades. People want to see what they've paid for. So what you're saying is that that is in, in and of itself is a, is a third world type of a military move. And you're calling Donald Trump a third world dictator. Now he gets a little defensive. That's not really what I'm saying. Yes, it is. Because if it were privately funded, you still just said it looks like something a third world nation would do. So now I've got him over a barrel because I know his motivation is he's trying to say that it it looks it has the appearance of this. You know, it looks like what North Korea would do and all that. Then he brings up the missiles. They're going to be putting all these missiles. I said, you don't know that. And he didn't. Now, look, here's my thing. I don't care about a parade. I really don't, but I do understand it. If they had it, I would be trying to figure out how to go because you know what? I feel good about the military. Now I feel good that we have a different commander in chief, a guy who's not concerned about being PC in the military and letting transsexuals in and giving new rules on don't ask, don't tell and all this nonsense. And he's actually going to bring the military back. I I think it would be a great thing. I think many in the military would say, you know what? I'd suffer through that on behalf of of President Trump. I'm glad we got rid of that clown, Barack Obama. I'm curious what you think, though. Which of us is right? Now, I'm going to be a spoiler here. More people called in agreeing with me than agreeing with my buddy, Gary. But, but you know, Gary makes a legitimate point. Why should we pay for these things and all that? But here was the other thing I told him. I said, why is it an in some game? Why is it, you know, he was like, that money could go to, and he starts naming all these things, educate. And I go, look, there's money in all these different programs. There's lots of money that could go to help vets. You know, if we're going to look at budget items, we don't need to look at this parade. That's this last place to look. He acts like that's the only place they could get the money was from the military. There's tons of waste in government. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. I'm curious. This is the Kevin Jackson Radio Show.